Hello everyone, I'm Black Marvin and I'm back for another Sightrans sound design tutorial. Let's do this. For today's tutorial, we're going to tackle another archetypal Sightrans lead that you can do in Serum and that is the sample and old lead. And it sounds like this. And we could go on like this forever because it's random. Again, for this lead, uh, it can it could be pushed even further and even in more creative direction. Uh, there's no processing whatsoever on this one uh, because we could do resampling and we could do all kinds of crazy thing with uh, a source sound as interesting as this one because it's already interesting. Um, and maybe maybe we're gonna try to do something uh, in that sense uh, later. But now let's uh, dissect the patch. Let's dissect the preset. So to understand sample and old, uh, we're actually going to go into another synth which is called pigments and we're just gonna get some visual feedback from the synth because uh, Serum is, is really good, but it doesn't really show uh, you what is uh, going on with the sample and old. You, you just have to know. But in the, that, that synth, you know, you see sample and hold here. That's that's pretty much what it is. All right, and you have a uh, you have a rate. So when you're gonna turn the rate uh, up or down, the the BPM sync in Serum. That's what's going to do. If it's faster, there's more values generated, and if it's slower, there's less value. So it's it's really like this. And um, if you put it like this, if you put sample and hold on. That's, that's how it's going to behave. But by default, if you go into the Chaos 1, all right, I mean the global here, the global thumbnail, uh, Chaos 1, and if you uncheck that and you don't have sample and all activated, it's basically going to act more like this, all right? So it's like, it's just values, random values and sliding from one value to another value, all right? Uh, so yeah, th thanks for the pigments, uh, like visual feedback is great. Um, so yeah, Serum, and this is how we are going to be set up. We check the BPM sync because we want, we want it to be on time. And uh, I'm on 116 here and I'm on sample and old. That is very important because that one K that chaos one, all right, that, that uh, modulator is going to be affecting the whole patch. It's, it's affecting the the whole preset is based around that. So if we go in the matrix, the chaos one modulator is uh, modulating the uh, position of the wavetable of the oscillator A. But first, let's look at uh, the wavetable I chose. I chose psychedelic one from the Ghost Act psychedelic wavetables in the Screechy psychedelic one. It's like the, the the very first tone of this preset is this one. Okay. It, sound, it sounds like this, and if we go through the wave table, it sound like, sounds like this. Okay, so like it's it's a nice screechy tone, it's a nice pew pew tone, okay? Uh, so it, 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 we have a nice tone to start with, and what the Chaos One modulation is doing, and it, it's going both ways, uh, it's generating randomly the wave table A position, so already, we're gonna have some kind of like randomly generated motion. It's gonna sound like this. And then we need to just find this, the sweet spot, all right? Just find the sweet spot so it, it, it always feels like it's landing somewhere interesting. Like if you listen here, it's, it, it's less, there's less contrast in the sound. While here, I think, I think this is the, the best result we're gonna get. Next up, before I go into the modulations, uh, this one is on two voices. So it, there's a nice uh, little stereo uh, spread. Also, there's a second wavetable, okay? I use the Sawfire uh, in Ghost Act Analog Wavetables 1. Sawfire is just, it's similar to a saw wave. Uh, on solo, it sounds like this, okay? Because I want it, uh, this is really thin, the cycle, the, the oscillator A, it's really thin. I want it to just add a bit of beef to the mix. Okay, so. 
So that's a like nice bottom to it. Next up, there's frequency modulation action between the two wavetables. Uh, and what this one is doing, you see the psychedelic one wavetable is it's kind of it's crunchy and and, and fizz, crispy and fizzy, I would say. Uh, but the uh, FM is is kind of uh, making it a bit a bit warmer and uh, less aggressive, but still crispy. You're gonna hear. So it's kind of taming down that tone, but still making it crispy. Next up is the LFO one. I'm activating all the destinations and this is placed like this. Uh, it's on trigger, it's on 116 and it's it's gonna affect uh, the sound as a gate. Okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be punching uh, at 116 speed. So it sounds like this. And also with the new serum update, I have a, a macro here on the gate size. So this is modulated by the macro. So if I want to, uh, let's say, do some kind of fill or some kind of variation, you're gonna hear it's gonna open up the gate. So yeah, thanks to the new serum update, that is gold. All right, so we're moving forward. We have those two uh, wavetables going on. We have the gate. Now uh, we're gonna use the chaos oscillator again because we're gonna put a band 24 filter right here. We could use the band 12, but the band 24 really sounds more like um, it, it, it's you're really getting those those sharp watery frequency. While if you use the band 12, I can show you, it, it's not the same effect. So with the band 24, you really have that that watery uh, uh, effect. All right, that psychedelic effect, and there, there's a lot of resonance there. There's a lot of drive. Drive is at 33. There's uh, fat is at 22, and yeah, the the action pretty much is that uh, chaos oscillator one is modulating the filter cutoff in one direction, and this is the value. Again, what I did is I chose a similar to the wavetable. I chose a spot where there's uh, constantly some nice action, even. Even if the value is random, it's constantly landing somewhere where it's gonna sound nice. I can show you if I move the cutoff somewhere else, it might sound less interesting. Actually, this is nice. And you know what? I'm gonna put a macro here. So on the spot, if you want uh, your, your preset to evolve, you can use the macro and it's gonna be more in the high frequencies. Fantastic. Now we're done with the filter and we understand the relation between the sample and old modulation and the filter and the wavetable. Now time for the effects hyperdimension. It uh, uh, the dimension size is at zero and it's at 50 here, but it's still effective. There's nothing going on here. This is a pretty for me, this is a pretty standard way that I use a dimension expander. Distortion. There's soft clip distortion going on. Uh, and uh, tube would work too, but the, the soft clip is, is acting again as a bit of a glue. Uh, and it, it's beefing up the signal a bit and it's it, it's making things uh, sounds more cohesive. So it's adding a bit of warmth and presence. No flanger, but there's a filter here, but we're gonna speak about the filter later. Uh, there's chorus a bit here. Um, this uh, The chorus rate is at uh, 0 0.05 Hertz. Uh, this is the delay setup. And it's on high pass filter here and not low pass filter. And that's about the mix we have. And I can show you how it sounds fully on so you can really understand what the chorus is bringing to the table. So yeah, that, but amount around 20%. There's a delay here. Uh, really big fan of the one fourth dot in the, in that case. There's no ping pong. It sounds like this. The compressor. It's the famous OTT threshold is a, uh, I didn't touch really the threshold, but I always uh, give a longer release to let it breathe. 
uh, a bit of gain here and I did not touch uh, that. So I'm really getting the, co the color that the, this multiband compressor brings. <laughs> Almost like it's not distorting, but it, it's bringing uh, like those crispy elements up front. Reverb, is how it sounds. So just a bit. This this the size is about ten percent. Uh, it's a bit smaller than what we're used to, and the mix is about twelve percent. Finally, the EQ rolling off some of the low frequencies. Those were all the effects, but now it's time to speak about the filter. There's a band reject going on, and uh. Right now it's doing uh, well. It's it's doing nothing. It's it's still actually we it should be like this. All right, and while we activate it, we activate it one hundred percent. What it does is that the chaos one uh, here, the chaos one is modulating the filter frequency of this guy right here. So you're gonna see the band reject the uh, moving. Okay and it's modulating in that way so there's a lot going on it's modulating both ways and the macro here is that i can shut it off or shut it on with the macro when i want to so right now it's uh it's there's a nice action there's a lot, lot of resonance so it, it it brings that uh again that watery sound so you can hear what how it sounds without it and when i we crank it up how it sounds <laughs> So this sounds even more like typical full-on psychedelic uh, pew pew. Um, and again, similar to the wavetable and to the filter, I, cho the, I chose that position here because it always lands on something interesting. If I move it uh, anywhere else, it, it's going to sound less interesting. Here it's different tone, but I, I really prefer here. And that's how you do a sample and old lead. And again, similar to the Serum Bandpass lead I show you, it's still, it's a, it's an archetypal lead. And from that, you can go in many directions because if you switch the, the wavetable to something else and you're all set up like this, you're gonna have a different sound. <laughs> So just by going through different wavetables, it changes the sound. And just to show you how powerful it is, I just closed the oscillators. I loaded here in the attack miscellaneous, the glass lid too. And we're basically doing all the same thing, but we're running a noise through it. And it sounds like this. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy and that from now on, you're gonna do some really nice sample and old leads uh, with your style in Serum. There's more Psytrance and Serum content coming your way. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will leave the preset downloadable in the video description for you. And until then, I will see you in another video. My name is Black Marvin. Cheers. <laughs>